Hello, how are you? I am very well, thank you. How are you? I am really good. I am really good. Oh, Monday morning vibes. I know. Feeling really good. I love a Monday these days. It's just crazy. I'm like, just feel all like, yeah, I'm ready for Monday. (laughs) It's a lovely shift though, isn't it? From the whole, oh, Monday morning to yeah, Monday morning. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. (laughs) I'm ready. (laughs) And I'm really excited to chat to you today about salt link that you did Mm. over the weekend and I know there's gonna be a lot to unpack so we're just gonna take our time um yeah just kind of go at a good pace and hear all about what you did what adventure (laughs) you went on (laughs) with your husband Dale yeah on Saturday wasn't it yes well we climbed Snowden yes (laughs) Straight in. <laughs> um and you know we drove past it back in the summer in August and I realized it was nearly five months to the day that we said right together we're going to climb this like I really want to climb it and he's done it many times before and I have never and I've just not really like had that kind of interest I suppose to put myself through that um but oh my goodness oh it was amazing and I just learned so much like (laughs) I feel like I was fully conscious walking up that mountain and it was just incredible um I don't really know where to start where shall I start (laughs) yeah so I've got a good idea where to start so you shared with me that obviously you arrived there Mm. and you couldn't park (laughs) (laughs) Where you would have ideally have liked to have parked. So you had to park a mile away. Yes. That's right, isn't it, from the start? So tell me a bit about that. Yeah. How did that, how did that feel? <laughs> like so, climbing you know, Snowden wasn't enough. I know. Just whack on an extra mile to get there. Oh, it was crazy. So we were actually going to leave at literally 3 a.m. And then we just had a little hesitant moment and we were like, oh, but it worked. Obviously, it's at the moment, it is obviously snowy, icy. Um, can I just um, pause there a yeah. moment? You said you were going to leave at 3 a.m. Yes. <laughs> is uh, so, so just to help me here. Is that because it's is it a journey from where you are? My job so is a couple of guys. hours. Oh, okay. I did not realize this. Okay. Yeah. Two <laughs> hours. About two hours, I think. I think okay, it's about cool. Two hours journey. Because it's still dark at 5 a.m. So does that it mean it is? But so the first part isn't fully uphill. Okay. So the first part, there is the path that we were taking, like, the you know, you could get a good way up. People Mm. were up there, by the way, for sunrise. So they had done it fully in the dark. Wowzers. (laughs) How they did that, like, hats off to everyone who did that. Like, amazing. Um, So we were going to do that. But obviously, with it being icy, being my first time, we're like, let's just leave it a little bit later. So I think we just got there, like, all the sunrises were up there. So they were parked, good to Mm. go. So we just got there. And there was no space to park. And we were like, oh, my goodness. So it's fine. It's fine. But the guy at the car park was like, so if you want to, you can park uh, down. So it was was down, down the hill, a mile (laughs) down the hill. (laughs) But it's free. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, It was free parking, but it was a a mile down the hill. So we were driving down thinking... Oh, and we got to the first little lay-by and someone was stood like in it, I think, waiting for friends. And like we were like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know whether we're just gonna have to say we we might have to part there. <laughs> but anyway, we literally went a few little bit further and there was a space waiting for us. So we got in that. And Charlotte a few years ago would have just really taken that as a knock, like a mile back up the hill before even getting to the start line like absolutely not <laughs> yeah and I'm sure for many it would have been the case of oh I mean I know you traveled two hours so perhaps it's not a oh, come back tomorrow kind, yeah. kind of vibe and obviously arranging childcare and all the other factors but to start it kind of fit feels a bit like oh yeah that extra mile like it's another it's another dynamic to the to the yeah. walk isn't it it was it was and you know and this is where this was the start of many a conscious choices that I made on that on that journey. And it was to really remind myself, this isn't the start line. This is a lovely little warm up warm up that we've been gifted. Yes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> what a shift. What a powerful and, shift. And, and you know, I looked to the top of the hill 
and there were two people who were just getting because I must admit I thought it was going to be a long way and then it, it was very windy as well so you're kind of thinking I thought one bit was the car park and I was like it, it, it's there it was not it was a bit further <laughs> but the sun was just starting you could see it was just lightening up so it was perfect mm. in terms of like the light for when we mm. started um, and the sky was just beautiful. And I think we were on, I was just on a bit of a high, like yeah. I didn't let that stop me. And it was a conscious choice to just know that I, we can't change this right now. So I could complain and just be all mad that we couldn't get parked or I could see it as a warm up and go, this is just adding to the challenge. So we got to the top, had a little loose stop because yeah, there were toilets yeah. there. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then, yeah, we set off and I was just excited. Like the sky, like I say, we could not have picked a better day because it was so beautifully clear. Obviously, the sun was just coming up. So we started, I think it was about half seven that we kind of, oh, no, half seven from the car. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) It was eight o'clock, I think, that we we set off from the start point. Um, and the sun was just starting to just get light and come up and, and it was just reflecting on obviously all the snow, all the mountains, like, and the colors that like changed with every moment that passed, it was just beautiful. Um, and yeah, so we set off and we started going and I was all excited, all like, whoo. Um, and then I thought that Snowden was on the right hand side. So I was heading for one mountain (laughs) and I was like, we were taking this, I took this picture of it reflecting into the river and it was actually the one on the left. And I was like, that one looks smaller than this one. He was like, that's because it's closer. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the path that we took, we went on the miners track. Okay. And it was quite a like steady, good start, like that it was kind of built you up. But mm-hmm. I did hit a block where we were going uphill and I was still looking at this mountain that I was like, we've not even started <laughs> like obviously we were we were gradually getting higher but I was like it just does not look like we've started and again I could find I just found myself starting to obsess over the how of getting up there mm-hmm. and this is where everything that we do in terms of mindset just helps so much because I was like Charlotte it doesn't matter about the how like and I'm also reading a book about the power of now and it's like I can't, I I don't need to be obsessing how to get there. I've set my intention that I'm going to get there, but I don't need to know the how. I just need to literally focus on one foot in front of the other and just enjoy that view, enjoy how it changes as I get that bit higher and just set myself those little mini goals. So I'd like literally see a step like a stone or a rock and I'd be like, right, that's my next point. And I get past there, pick the next one. Can I get there? Yeah, I can get there. And just really absorb myself into the now. And again, Charlotte, a few years ago, would have been stuck obsessing over the how, like that I feel miles away. I can't see a path up there. I just don't know how on earth I'm going to do it. And that would have been my internal chatter. And I just really shifted that to Charlotte, one step at a time. You've said you're doing this. You're going to do it. Mm. It's fine. <laughs> and you did it. And you did I, it one step at a time. Yeah. And it really was. And then like getting to the kind of what felt like the foot of the mountain, which was already a good chunk of time in. <laughs> I've been walking a while. <laughs> it obviously then turned into a, a scramble, I would say, in yeah. the snow, trying to get up there. Um, but actually there was another little mindset moment I wanted to share and there was lakes on the way up which were absolutely stunning and Dale had thrown a stone into the thing it just it literally just you know it, it was the tiniest stone in the biggest frozen lake and yeah. it just like plopped in and like broke through yeah, the ice amazing like, good shot <laughs> I caught it on camera as well it's a wonderful <clears throat> one um and I grabbed this stone I thought I'll give it a go and Honestly, what came out of my mouth, I said to him, I grabbed the stone and I went, I bet I can't reach that. Well, there you go then. And I was like, <laughs> oh my goodness, like how on earth can I expect to reach that lake talking to myself like that? And it was a real moment of, mm. wow, Charlotte, I bet I can't. 
It's like, a good bet, isn't it? To like, like, set how about up I bet I can? I can. <laughs> and so anyway, I threw the stone, didn't get that at all. And it took me a moment. I walked and I thought, did I really just say that? Like, mm. and this is the extent of it, isn't it? Like, I was so aware of that because I've practiced, like, yeah. thinking about how I think. <laughs> mm. And had I not I spent a lot of my life in that like you know speaking to myself in that way betting I can't do something like and anyway I kept walking and I thought no Charlotte (laughs) so I grabbed another stone and I was talking (laughs) to Dale about this (laughs) grab this other stone literally and I said I bet I can and I threw this stone and it didn't get there on the first bounce but by golly, it got there on the second one. <laughs> Did <laughs> you get that? That's brilliant. <laughs> and I was like, wow, like it's just, yeah, that was a real moment for me where mm. I just thought I've come a long way mentally, like in terms yeah. of how I just, I don't know, think about my mind, how aware I am of my mind and how how much that can stop me doing doing things. Yeah. Um. So that was a little little moment. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, so then, yeah, we got to the bit where it was scrambling. And again, I just could not <clears> see a path. There was not really a path. It was just previous people had gone up and scrambled the way. And there were moments of like, like where you could see people had put their foot into the snow and it had gone that deep. It had gone into like the stream that was coming down as well. Oh, wow. um, like it was yeah talking deep snow on the sides like so obviously yeah. someone I presume someone much more knowledgeable than me had been up and knew exactly where the path was so it, I presume yeah. it was kind of <laughs> where it was you know meant to be <laughs> but it was covered in snow um but the snow so Dale having done it a few times before he said it actually made it easier because it would have been steps okay. um but it was very slippy the higher we were getting yeah and yeah, I just took one step after the other. And I visual like I just kept saying to myself, like, one step at a time. Mm. I actually enjoy this, enjoy the journey. Mm. And this is where it's like I was like, this is everything in life. Like <laughs> this is what we say, what we do, like what we model. Like we can set an intention of where we want to go. And that's a big part of the journey, is figuring out where we want to go. Like mm. For me, obviously, at this point, it was it was getting to the top of Snowdon, but then detaching from everything else <laughs> and just doing what you can do in the moment you have in front of you, which was take that step, take that step, yeah. take that step. Wow, look how far I've come. Like, just have a little glance mm. behind you. I've come a good chunk of the way. Be proud of it. One step, next step. <laughs> um, And then I hit another big block that's okay. not a big block we were getting very high it was mm. the path was getting narrower mm. and it was getting very slippy and okay. like my my mind started to spiral into worst case scenario and I was thinking if I do put one foot wrong here I'm going over that edge like mm. it felt that on the edge so I was kind of walking leaning mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like gravity's got to be on my side right I was just leaning and then obviously if anyone was trying to pass I was like oh, I'm, not, I'm you know getting a little bit oh yeah I use my breath and I literally every time my mind tried to spiral into that one foot wrong and I'm gone I was like no <laughs> I was like and I, I actually said it out loud which is quite new for me because I'd say these things in my head but I was like I didn't care I was like Charlotte you can do this Charlotte you can do this yes. you can do this and continued with that the whole way on this this very narrow, very slippy mm. path. And I'm talking, I was clinging onto rocks, and then there'd be so like brave. There would be a bit where there was no rocks, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> there was one dicey moment where Dale like had me for both of us, like you know, like he kind of grabbed yeah. me. Um, so it was, it was, it was. There were tough conditions, and like people were going up there, honestly, without like I saw this one guy in jeans, and I don't know what path he'd taken, in jeans and trainers, and I was like, how have you done that? Like wow. at the top, just like his, just like his, his casual morning walk. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, 
We'll see you yesterday. Just doing yeah, it again today. Yeah. <laughs> it was absolutely crazy. Wow. Um, but then obviously there were also people who had the sticks, which were yeah. very wise, <clears throat> very wise. Yeah. And the things that like spikes on their shoes. Yes. Which again, yeah. very, very, very wise. wise. Yeah. And I love <laughs> you were literally leaning in, yeah. like when it got scary. I was, yeah. Yes. Yes. You know, yeah. it got scary. So you just leaned in, leaned yeah. into it. And, and there was just obviously, this... you know, no, being aware of like, you know, literal danger. Like, yeah. you know, we're not, we're not advocating to go do really dangerous things here. No. So we're putting your life at risk. <laughs> like, not always saying here, but you know, obviously, yeah. plenty of people are doing it. It is okay to be doing it. And this is what I told myself mm. like, was th- this was not like, this was a path many people had taken that day, yeah. the day before, the day before that. Like, yeah. people have done this and trying to stay calm in those moments mm-hmm. um was where it was at because it was a little it was a little bit scary it was very scary yeah. <laughs> but I think I just really saw the power in my mind and telling myself that I can mm-hmm. and I wouldn't have done that a few years ago and I think I surprised Dale because me a few years ago would have been absolutely blaming him. Like, what on earth are we doing up here? Like, this is not safe. Like, what why, are we doing? Why have, you, why have you made me do why this? Why have you made me do this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wasn't. Like, I knew why I was doing it. Because, yet again, I want to live more. Yeah. And there's no more living that I can do than waking up at four o'clock on a Saturday morning driving for two hours and watching the sunrise as we climb a mountain like wow it was just yeah just such an adventure um and then we got to I was starting to then after that icy path Mm -hmm. I could see I could see where we were heading (laughs) and you just literally got onto the ridge and you looked over and I did not realize how close to the sea we were I was like I did not know this about Snowdon so I could see the sea um, wow. which was beautiful and the end was in sight and then it was for some very slippy steps <laughs> to go mm. <laughs> and then yeah we got to the top and we we just I think we climbed at a really lovely time where it wasn't too busy so there yeah. was a couple of people waiting to there's some circular steps that literally just go to that like summit summit yeah. that's what you call it isn't when they get to the top yeah and there was a few people in front of us one guy had gone up Apparently there's like a said thing that you go up one way and everyone gets like their own. So you kind of wait in turn for your picture okay. at the top. Yeah. So, but this one guy came up where everyone comes down. So he caused a bit of a, bit of a stir. Oh, to do. <laughs> Cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> I mean, I won't lie. He kind of ruined my little video, but it's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We, can get, we can go with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just, so we, that was like the last little climb and, um, yeah, the feelings of doing that, stepping down, having my ginger shot. I took a ginger yeah, shot. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love that. I saw that. That's great. That's and great. that was also my end point. I was like, I'm going to have a ginger shot on the top yeah. of Snowden. Like, that's what I want to do. That's wow. living for me right now. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, got to the top. But then I won't lie, coming down filled me with yeah. the fears because obviously how slippy it was. Yeah. And again... Dale is very much a let go, kind of just a little bit more wild than me, <laughs> shall we say. Yeah. I'm a bit of a safety first kind of girl. <laughs> yeah. But again, I set an intention of trusting him on the way down because he's done this many times before. And he was like, honestly, like, just give it a go. Like, sit down. Because actually, I felt I felt a lot better because I was closer to the ground. Yes, like, yes. So I suppose in terms of gravity, so I basically mm. slid on my bum most, well, slid on my feet most of the way down. Yeah. But we kind of cut a few corners. So, like, where you'd go round up, we just went straight down. <laughs> it was so much fun. I, Amazing. I felt like we were children again. Like, you know, just... Yes with just nothing to hold you back just do what you want to do and the other thing was just being surrounded by people on that same high doing that was really amazing and Mm. I remember getting like after that icy but I think it was like was it on the icy path and was it on the icy path I can't remember now near that that point and someone said to me you're nearly there keep going 
And I was like, oh, yes. I don't know how much I needed that. Like yeah. literally. And we never know how much like a little comment like that can go for someone, do we? And that was another wonderful learning that thank you. Like, yeah. yeah that just really encouraging others encouraging others is everything like having that encouragement from others and also giving it to others is so much better than judging and labeling and complaining and moaning isn't it yeah just a simple little bit of encouragement each day yeah to yourself Mm -hmm. or to others or from others it makes it's wonderful yeah wow so yeah we slid down and then we got to the very end point and obviously, you know, from last week and my lake lake adventure, yeah, <laughs> I was like, I did, it did cross my mind of like just putting a little costume on underneath, just to like celebrate coming down. I was not because it was ice. <laughs> but wow. what we did do is there was a waterfall coming down, and we washed our face in the fresh water. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> and then we we literally got to um to the first stone, the miners track, like where it was like the start point got there celebrated and then we're like oh, got a mile now <laughs> oh, back to the car park <laughs> it was all downhill but that was jelly legs because yeah but it um, was and I, I must admit when I got to the car it probably halfway through that mile I was thinking wow I'm ready for the car now I'm really ready yeah. for the car yeah yeah um but yeah we did it well, free parking winner winner <laughs> winner winner oh honestly it's incredible. And when you told me about this yesterday, obviously I knew you I knew you were doing it. And then you told me, you kind of unpacked it with me yesterday and how, well, firstly, actually, sorry, I'm, I'm sure you are so proud of yourself yeah. and absolutely be so proud of what you've done because it is incredible. And the fact that like in a day you've used, you've tapped into <laughs> all of the personal development, all of the inner work, all the self-awareness, all the mindset work. Yeah. like to literally climb a mountain and just so much in that isn't there that we can like put on yeah. you know to how we operate in life like that conscious choice setting that intention yeah taking the small steps not fixating on the end goal i.e the top of the mountain and like mm. how but how i don't know i don't know how, i don't have the tools right yet i don't know how to do it and then allowing all that to just stop us yeah yeah and just stepping into right okay I know what I can do now I can take one foot in front of the other yeah I can take one step and I can be present in this moment and I can trust and I know that I I know what I want to do and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it yeah and trust that I'll figure it out on the way and you did yeah and you know another little learning was actually the little rest points like we didn't overly rest other than like the odd look we had very many little into but just like catch my breath and so especially yeah. going like high up but just how much those few minutes at a time like helped and in terms of life like it's not about pushing and pushing and pushing like it's about having those rest points and like really energizing in those rest points in such a wonderful way like for me consciously choosing to breathe deeper in those moments of rest and actually look at the view and see how far I've come rather than rest in guilt that I should have carried on going do you know what I mean like absolutely and so that's important that's so much in life isn't it like mm. allowing ourselves to have those breathers along the way like and just like I've done a lot in January I thought about this this morning I was like <laughs> And and honestly, I feel so energized by it. And that is because I am making these decisions to like, I knew after doing that, I'm going to need some early nights to recover and to get back, you know, and to kind of just get back into that. I know I need like a bit of extra. I know I need my smoothies in the morning now more than ever. Like, and I've really honored that. And I wouldn't have before Mm. because not to bring this into it again, but drinking, I would have celebrated with a drink and Mm. that would have meant I wouldn't have gone to bed so early and I wouldn't have, and I'm doing it in such a, like looking ahead forwards that what's the next adventure? Like rather than that little 
win of cell. Like I love celebrating with a can of trip, a little yeah, CBD, yeah. little CBD love. <laughs> yeah. And getting that early night and just, I allowed myself to have, I had an extra hour in bed on Sunday mm. and it felt so good. But yeah. then I still wanted to get up and just do a few bits because I was like, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I bet you just feel so alive right now with these adventures and, yeah. and pushing and just seeing what's possible. And just to highlight what you've just said about taking these moments to to rest and recharge, it is crew. It's essential mm. because if we do keep pushing and pushing and pushing, that's when we hit burnout. Yeah, that's when we hit burnout. So keep going. It's not a race. No. It's a journey. One step at a time, trust. And like one better choice at a time. Yeah. We're not looking at transforming our whole, like this has taken a couple of years yeah. to get to this point and even figure out if I want to climb a mountain. That might not look like the same for everybody at yeah. all. I didn't think it, that would be for me. That's like a you know, step along the journey and I really mm. enjoyed it. But yeah, just just one and we always say this don't we that often like when we first start out on this it's just about being aware and actually reflecting Mm. on if we didn't make a choice that felt good like okay like what would I choose next time or how could I do that differently next time yeah yeah and there's so much part that is the start start in place to build that self-awareness and it's just about building that self-love and kindness from the ground up, like with every little thing that you do. Um, it really is. And that and that looking back, like yeah. I can imagine you're halfway up Snowdon. You've got to look back to see how yeah. far you've come. Mm. And we've got to do it in life because if we are just kind of this mindset of the next thing, the next thing, the the move moving forward is great yeah. making progress it's great but we must take a moment to acknowledge mm-hmm. all that we have done yeah. all that we are look back be so proud of ourselves yeah because when we do that that's our motivator to keep going yeah that's when we feel like when we start to build those things of and knowing that we are enough and we are doing mm-hmm. our best whatever that looks like yeah so it's crucial to look back it's crucial to pause it's crucial to recharge yeah and it's so so important to look back at how far we've come on every step of the way and be so proud of that yeah and then you just just... sorry you just reminded me of something else as well motivation Mm. on that morning I was excited but when when I first opened my eyes I thought wow (laughs) (laughs) for 4 a.m on a Saturday morning do I fancy this probably not right now could I just stay cozy in bed mm-hmm. yeah Charlotte why are you doing it because I want to live more yeah get out of bed get in the car mm. and get up that mountain mm. like because that's where life is that's where mm. joy is it's not don't get me wrong we need a lion like and I'm not saying yeah. every Saturday morning like you know just leaping out of bed like this but what can you do what are those things that you can mm. do that bring you more of that like Mm. in this moment right now that you're you know that you're currently in what's possible to just add a bit more Mm. of that and it takes a bit of figuring out it does it does and it kind of takes getting back almost to those like like you said you on Saturday you re-tapped into the thoughts like you re-tapped into what was going on inside to just to shift that thinking and shift that perspective Mm. from I bet I can't to actually I bet I can or <laughs> even if I can't I'm going to give it a you know a really yeah. good a really good go at it um so it's, it's tapping into those thoughts isn't it because it's if we if we use this conscious choice and we do think differently and like you said make a better mm. a better choice the next time and just keep and just keep working with it and get creative and curious with it yeah. and have that awareness of our thoughts we do start to feel better we yeah. do and when we feel better we can we can absolutely live more and just I was gonna say because we all know don't we when we're feeling good when we've woken up in that good mood how much more do we do yeah a lot mm. but we miss the part of looking after ourselves enough and feeling worthy of that care and love to be able to create that for ourselves be able mm. to feel good when we want to feel good mm. And I know my a big chunk of my journey has been feeling worthy of that love and care for myself. That has been massive. Mm. Like, yes. yeah, I remember in the beginning, like when we first started, like everything, like it was just, 
well, actually, I remember launching TAGC on that first month and thinking, yeah, God, I've done this. Mm. And I remember having that first virtual and I was on such a high, such a high. Mm. And then I woke up the next day full of doubt, <laughs> full of, oh, I've got to do this like every week, every month. <laughs> what? What am I doing? And I had to feel worthy of those feelings that that mm. first virtual brought me. Mm. Like yesterday, I had to feel worthy of celebrating myself when I got to the top of there and knowing that I did that. And we just don't celebrate ourselves enough. And we just think that it makes it means that we're full of ourselves or it means yeah. that we're bragging. Like, yeah. absolutely not. If we all did this, if we all healed from within and I actually mm. did this stuff, we would all all be living such happier lives and I genuinely yeah. believe that because one thing that I wrote down was actually like I used to be in this mindset of thinking like I'm an exception and, and I wonder if anyone can relate to this like you see what's possible for other people you see people climbing like Snowden like for example I would look at that and I'd be like oh I just couldn't couldn't get the childcare, couldn't get the motivation to get up there I just couldn't you know and, and just mm. in that kind of yeah, that's great for them. I'm really happy for them, but that's just not me. Like, mm. like you are not an exception. Like there is so much magic and power inside of you now. And it is just about going on a journey to discover it. Mm. Um, and I feel like that's what I've been on. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I'm it felt like, like that at the top of the mountain, it was so much more than just climbing Snowden. I was like, mentally I have moved so far and we can mm. all do that one kind step after one mm. kind step and if anyone's listening and thinking okay like where do I start just start where you are yeah start where you are and we mm. started with we started with journaling didn't we yeah. just yeah. asking yourself how am I feeling today mm. to build your awareness to get better connected with yourself to start yeah. this journey start where you are it's not too late no you're not too old you don't need to wait for the right time and just ask yourself today how am I feeling and just see where yeah. that takes you yeah and just start to build that awareness and just please know that you are so worth looking after like yeah that's the biggest thing isn't it you're worthy it really you're enough and you're absolutely mm. worth looking after and when you really look after yourself yeah and love yourself like you love somebody that you really care for magical things happen yeah absolutely. they really do you start just to be able to create your own life rather than life just happening like mm. life being this cycle of one thing after the other mm. no it's the one thing that I really would have not wanted to hear back then, but it's like, stop, slow down, yeah, take your foot off the pedal, look after yourself, figure out where you want to go, mm. then get back on. But in a much, just more energized from within way, like, because climbing Snowden energized me. <laughs> this is a big shift for me. And I know recently in the weekly practices, I um, wanted to tap into that, didn't I? That actually, for me, I feel like exercise, like just zaps all of my energy. And then I'm left like, oh, <laughs> then I just want to eat. And then I want to like, just, just do all of the bad stuff because I've done a good thing. Like, no, like that absolutely energized me. And in noticing that I've just, don't get me wrong. We had a very big Indian on Saturday night as a reward. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just shifting so there's just so much power in our thoughts, isn't there? There yeah, really, it's... really is. And that was such a big learning for me. Yeah. I knew it anyway, but mm. wow, going up there. I know it now. Yeah, <laughs> Even more. It's really highlighted. <laughs> and conscious choice. Like you started this 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 chat today about, you know, how you re stepped into conscious choice. And that's how yeah. we get off this autopilot of just every day feeling like the same. Yeah. And we have that choice. Like our choice mm. is the one thing we will always have. Yeah. We always Definitely. have the choice of the thoughts and the stories and the yeah. beliefs. 100%. Um, <sighs> so, guys, obviously, you've highlighted a great place to start. And just know that the Authentic Girls Club is here for you. Um, we are a community of women on this journey, and it looks so different 
for every woman. And like, we celebrate that because we are, we are all at different points in our life. We are all doing different things, but we are coming together in this wonderful space of just seeing what's possible. And it's such an exciting place to be. So yeah, head over to um, the website, www.theauthenticgirlsclub.com. Um, we've got many events coming up. We are, that's what we're doing for the rest of the day, I think, is getting a few more events up there as well, because we've got lots in the pipeline. Yeah. Um, and then the club will be opening again, um, maybe in February, I think. Yeah, start of Feb. Start of February. Month of self-love. Yes, yes. yes. Actually, yes, that is one hell of a place to start. Yeah. Start with self-love um so yeah amazing thank you for this felt really good to just get all of that out yeah (laughs) thank you for sharing honestly there's so many there's so many nuggets in this and um yeah just be so proud well done and it's been wonderful to chat thank you so much take care speak to you later Bye. bye